It's been pretty cold across many parts of Europe recently, but the weather pattern is about to change once again, with warmer temperatures and the dreaded pest from the west getting ready to impact the United Kingdom and Ireland as we head into next week. We're going to get straight into this report with a region-by-region -region breakdown, and over Iberia we're seeing one last storm approaching, and this one is coming right after Storm Irene brought widespread heavy rain and thunderstorms. This new storm will bring an additional round of heavy rain and maybe a few thunderstorms again to parts of Portugal and Spain going into tomorrow, with even some snowfall possible in interior Spain. Once that system moves out, things will dry out and remain pretty stable for the foreseeable future. Now across the northwest of Europe, it's going to be a completely different story. Today's going to be the last day of widespread cold temperatures and snow showers across the UK and Ireland, because even as early as tomorrow, we're going to start seeing some westerly winds blow into this region, raising temperatures in the wake of an incoming storm. Rain will spread across Ireland and western parts of the UK by Saturday, but that's not going to be the main events. The first big system I'm going to be watching out for comes into the picture by Sunday, and you can see that well-defined low pressure system there getting closer and closer. Then throughout the day on Sunday, we're going to see widespread strong winds, and in some areas possibly very strong wind, accompanied by very heavy rain. That specific system will then continue eastward, eventually spreading widespread heavy snowfall across Scandinavia by the beginning of next week. But we're not quite done because just behind that first storm there's going to be yet another one arriving by Tuesday the 23rd, and this one is probably going to bring similar impacts with another round of strong winds and heavy rain through midweek before spreading into Central Europe and Scandinavia. Moving on down towards Central Europe, we can expect a departing snowstorm today as Irene gets suppressed towards the south, and then this will give way to a brief break in the active precipitation before frontal systems associated with these strong low pressures hitting Ireland and the UK start moving through this weekend and beyond. If you're a winter weather fan, it looks like the Nordic and Baltic countries is probably where you want to be, because even though I expect an overall uptrend in temperatures, it looks like it's going to remain cold enough to snow for most areas, especially with the first couple of potent storms that move in on Sunday and then again on Monday into Tuesday. So now we've covered the areas that are expecting a warm-up in the near future, but there's actually other areas that are waiting for a cool-down. That brings us down into the Mediterranean. We can see that this new storm that's impacting Iberia today will basically help form a divider with Storm Irene over Europe between the warm air mass to the south and the cold in the north. As the precipitation departs from northwestern, central, and northeastern Europe today into tomorrow, it's going to head southward, bringing a wave of rain and snow to many areas, especially in the Balkans through the weekend, before finishing off over Turkey early next week. This is the temperature map that's going to help you put this pattern shift into perspective, and you can see how many areas to the north of Irene are colder than normal, while southern Europe is warmer. That's going to quickly change as Irene heads south with cold air following behind and warm air being pushed away. Then as these big storms start coming off the Atlantic, you're going to notice a plume of milder air coming in, pushing temperatures above the historical average across many areas of Europe as we head into next week. Despite the upcoming warm-up, we're still holding onto the fringes of this colder pattern over the coming days, so now that begs the question, who's expecting snowfall? Well, across southern Europe, we're actually expecting a considerable amount of snowfall, especially in the Balkans, and you can see that covering places like Slovenia, North Macedonia, Bulgaria, Serbia, parts of Hungary, Austria, Romania, and even parts of Greece and Turkey. That storm over Iberia may even produce some snowfall in north-central Spain as colder air sweeps in. Over the United Kingdom and Ireland, much of the snowfall is going to be confined to Scotland, and then looking towards the Baltic and Nordic countries, multiple additional rounds of snow are coming over the next five days. Some of the hardest hit areas will be around western Norway and Finland. And now taking a look at the overall precip totals, they're going to be pretty notable across Ireland and western parts of the UK, as well as Norway also taking the brunt of some of these Atlantic storms. Places in that pink shade may be dealing with over 100 millimeters of liquid precipitation just within the next five days. And then across southern Europe, parts of Portugal and Spain may see one last round of very heavy rain through tomorrow, with parts of the Balkans, especially around Albania, seeing some of the heaviest precipitation, and the same applies to parts of Georgia. 
Now, if you're interested in seeing some more details on these big storms coming up for Europe in the near future, definitely make sure you subscribe for more forecasts on this channel. Also, before we conclude, I wanted to start doing this for my upcoming videos, and it's going to be the photo of the day. This photo here was taken by me on May 12th, 2023 near Lisbon, Portugal on a sunny spring day. If you want to share your own weather-related photos, whether it's a serene winter wonderland or an epic thunderstorm, you can send them directly to me on Discord or Instagram. You will find links to both my Discord and Instagram in the description down below. So with that said, thanks for watching this forecast and I'll see you on the next one.